Good morning, family. I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, and it comes from chapter 1, verse 33, from the Passion Translation, and it reads, But the one who always listens to me, me being wisdom, will live undisturbed in heavenly peace, free from fear, confident and courageous. You will rest unafraid and sheltered from the storms of life. Family, as we were seeing yesterday, we were also reading from the book of Proverbs chapter one. And I want to encourage you in your own time to go and read the entire Proverbs chapter one in your own time to just read it and meditate on it and what it's speaking about wisdom. Solomon has written these these proverbs and he is speaking as though wisdom is speaking as if it has a voice. That's why it says, but the one who always listens to me, me being wisdom. So family, what I want to say from this is that we need to incline our ears. We need to be ready and able to listen to wisdom, family. Like we said yesterday, the beginning of true wisdom comes from a reverent fear of the Lord. And when we incline our ears towards wisdom, towards biblical, godly wisdom, we will rest in the promises that are spoken to us here. We will be undisturbed in a heavenly peace, fear, free from fear, confident and courageous. We will rest unafraid and sheltered from the storms of life, family. We know, especially amidst these times of coronavirus, that there's lots of storms of life going on around us at the moment. The economy is suffering. The people are suffering. The world as a whole is suffering. People are getting infected and dying. There's storms all around us, family. But if we have a fear of the Lord, if we incline our ear towards good and godly wisdom, family, we will be able to rest in the Lord. We will be able to rest sheltered from the storms around us. Does that mean that the storms might, um, that, that they'll just blow on past us? No, family. The storms are still there. They're still going to affect us in some way or another. But if we listen to godly wisdom, if we listen to good godly advice from the word of God and from good and godly men and women, we will know how to handle the storms when they come our way. A good example of this would be, you know, the weather has said, okay, there's a 30% chance of a massive storm coming tomorrow. And you decide, well, you know, it's only a 30% chance. So I'm going to get in my boat and I'm going to go and fish on the lake kind of thing. And then you t swing this idea by your friends from church or your pastor and your pastor's like, hey, you, you sure you want to do this? Um, you know, there, there's a chance of a storm. It, it could cause problems. But you're like, nah, you know, the news says it's only a 30% chance. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. And you go out and do it. And what happens? The storm hits family. And what's going to happen? You're going to get thrown out of your boat or your boat's going to sink or it's going to run ashore or something bad might happen. Why? Because you chose to listen to the worldly news instead of listening to the advice of the godly, instead of checking your spirit and checking what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do, you followed your own mind in that example, family. And that's not what God wants for us. God wants us to follow good and godly wisdom. Each and every born again believer has the Holy Spirit living inside of them. And we can check with the Holy Spirit to see for that inner peace before we go and do things. And that is following godly wisdom before we make important decisions consult god don't just go out and do it because sometimes these decisions could be a life or death situation you know we don't have to go and consult God for everything. I didn't have to go and consult God what tie I was going to wear today. But when it comes to important decisions, where we go, what we do, how we do it, the job we apply for, the church we go to, where we live, where we move, the, the school we send our children to, all these kinds of things are important and con could quite easily become life-altering decisions. And that's why it is so important to seek that godly wisdom family. And when we seek that godly wisdom, we can rest in that godly wisdom. We can rest in that godly advice, knowing that even though the storm are happening around us, we can go forward resting in God's peace because he has given us the instruction on how to go forward and how to move through the storm peacefully without being shipwrecked. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that dwells inside of us. We thank you, Lord, for good and godly friends. And we thank you, Lord, for your word. And we thank you, Lord, that from these three things, Lord, you speak to us, Lord, giving us good and godly wisdom and advice. Lord, that you will give us advice how to handle the difficult storms that we are facing, the challenges that we are facing in our lives, in our work and wherever, Lord. We thank you, Lord, 
that we come to you for advice, Lord, before we go and listen to the advice of the world, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we know that we come to your advice, Lord, you give us the wisdom, you give us the knowledge that we need to be able to go forth and go full steam ahead into the storm, knowing that you've got us, Lord, resting in your peace, knowing that you've got it, you've taught us and shown us how to get through this without being without being affected and being unscathed, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are leading us and guiding us. We thank you, Lord, that you give us wisdom, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will lead us and guide us in everything we say and in everything we do throughout the day, Lord, that you will lead us in your perfect will for our lives, Lord, and you will use us mightily wherever we find ourselves at throughout the day. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in our lives and through our lives today and throughout the week. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hey there, thanks for watching my video. I trust that this message blessed you and encouraged you. And I'd like to ask you to please share the link to this video with your friends and family so that they too may be blessed and encouraged by this message. And don't forget when you're done to please give us a thumbs up, give me a like, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this message. And when you're done, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and go and follow and like me on all social media platforms to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that I'm getting up to, everything that's happening in the ministry and every time I upload a video just like this one. Thank you family, enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.